Hello there beautiful people, my name is Mary Ann Mwangi. Thank you for clicking in. Today, just like the title says, I'm going to be giving you eight different ideas of small businesses you can start with very little money this quarantine season, this lockdown season, or this season where most people have lost their income. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. And if you're one of the 445 people, just know you all have my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just before this intro gets too long, let's jump right into the video. So number one is going to definitely be soap manufacturing. I know this probably sounds weird, it sounds difficult or anything, but my number one point is going to be soap manufacturing. I'm going to give you a few reasons why. Number one, manufacturing of soap is cheap. I swear, it's cheap. It's really easy, the materials you need to manufacture soap, they are readily available everywhere in the market. and they are easy number two manufacturing of soap is easy you don't need any rocket science or any complete chemistry to know how to manufacture soap go down to the internet go down on youtube go down everywhere where you can uh, source credible information go ahead and manufacture your own soap and start a small business number three why you support you could start a business of manufacturing soap is Soap is a day-to-day -day thing. Soap is as good as food. Everybody needs soap. Everybody needs soap every day, just like they need food. And that definitely means you have enough market for it. And the one thing that I would want you to pay attention to is if you're going to sell your soap door-to-door, -door, and especially to people that you know, just make sure everyone pays cash because even if they're your, your relatives or your friends, it's really just your business, okay? Still, in relationship to manufacturing soap, you can manufacture lip gloss. I mean, you guys, you really just have to go on the internet and realize how easy it is to manufacture these things. You can manufacture lip gloss, you can manufacture um, candles. Candles are also really nice. I mean, to me, I wouldn't really do candles because I feel like the market for candles is a bit down. But if you are looking for something really easy to make, then go ahead and try candles, go ahead and try lip gloss, go ahead and try soap. And with soap, you have so many options. You can go for the liquid soap, you can go for a solid soap. You can actually choose yourself and make yourself a brand and try to make hand wash. And that's all. You never know. You might end up being life boy in the next five years. You might end up being dead old in the next 10 years. So just give it a try. My number two point is going to be DIYs. For everyone who, anyone who doesn't know what DIY means, it's a do it. It means do it yourself. So do it yourself, DIY. And there are so many things that you can do them yourself and sell them, and this could actually bring you an income. And especially this season where every cent that comes in really counts because we're not really sure what the future holds for us and. I think it's really important to have something that can give you an income. So in terms of DIYs, I mean things like storage items. I mean, go ahead and knit a basket and sell it. I mean, everyone needs a basket. I need a basket. If you need a basket, I'm going to buy it. I can't knit a basket, so if you need one, I'll buy it. Number two, you can go ahead and make jewelry. I mean, by jewelry, I don't really mean like ghost, make gold or something, but there this at very artistic things that people can that people are able to make there are people who are very talented artistically i am not for example but there are those people who their hands are just so blessed they can make things that are so attractive and all that so you can make this um flag things that people wear i usually have mine on but because of my job at the hospital we're not allowed to wear anything around our arms otherwise i would have had a very good example and on that case, on that note, I will attach an image somewhere here on the screen of some of the artistic things you can make um, and sell and generate an income out of it. Number three, you can make decor items. I mean, look, for example, at this thing. It's just so beautiful. I would just buy it because of how beautiful it is. And someone probably used very little time to make it, but I spent my money to get it because it was beautiful. So decor items are things that I personally think that would sell. Number three, still on DIYs, if you can do art, for example, something like this. I mean, this is not literally art, but if you can draw or you can make portraits and everything, I think those are things that can get you an income. So that's all 
up on to DIYs and to everyone who has better ideas or who has even more ideas of what people can do themselves so that they generate an income please do not hesitate to put it down on the comment section and if you watch this video don't forget to go down to the comment section to check if someone also added an idea of the things you can do yourself because I mean we're all blessed with different talents and let's use them to make an income Number three, I know this is going to sound crazy, but if you live in Nairobi, girl or boy or man or woman, go to Kamukunji. You know where Kamukunji is? It's down there. I don't know. I don't even know how to explain where Kamukunji is. But I myself have done a business in Kamukunji. Number one, the best thing you can sell from Kamukunji is jewelry. By this point, I really mean things like necklaces earrings like the ones I have on or anything that's jewelry you can get it from Kamukunji at very cheap price I saw things that you can sell at for example 250 you'll get a piece of each for like 60 shillings 70 shillings or 80 and I promise you this is a business I've done it is going to work the only thing you just need to have a credible market if you're a young person you're in the uni or anywhere then you definitely have people to sell to and if you also have a lot of contact with women you can sell to them this jewelry if you're a woman i don't know with contact with women in the church they all like to wear all these things and all find your way to kamukunji i swear like this about jewelry but also about utensils cups and and, and bottles and um, i don't know plates everything these are things you can find at a very affordable price in kamukunji and you can just choose one thing and specialize in it let people know that you sell thermoses let people know that you sell glasses let people know that you sell plates and that's how you generally you generally are going to be able to come up with a brand for yourself because i'm not just talking small business i hope anyone who starts a business with any of these ideas actually becomes successful i really just hope someone out there gets out of a stuck situation especially financially i swear i've been broke i've been broke and it's not a good feeling so if you're watching this and you know you feel broke just go ahead and try any of these things that was point number three and that was about kamukunji you can find a lot of things you can find all these plastic things you know i don't know if they call it marimari or malimali i don't know all those plastic things these baskets this um uh, laundry basket these um things where people arrange utensils and all go ahead and get yourself these things sell them because first of all these things come from china that means they're cheap and that means they are also look good looking a little bit and they can sell that's my point good <sighs> number four i know this is going to hurt a lot of people but ladies please learn how to do your own hair number one it costs a lot of money to get your hair done number two if you can learn how to do hair then why not do someone's hair because i mean i am one of those people who really can't do anything with my hair i swear like Especially when I moved to Germany, I really I didn't know I didn't even know how to take care of hair. But over time, I've learned to know what my hair needs, what I can do with my hair, and what I cannot. And the thing is, it's really saved me a lot of money because getting braids done in this country, for example, would cost me up to one hundred and twenty euros. And that's too much money just to think that I will go get the pack of braids for ten euros and just sit overnight and sit uh, overnight watch a Netflix movie and come up with braids the following day and not have lost 120 euros so ladies just as a method of saving money do your own hair and if you learn how to do your own hair then start doing people's hair start doing people's children's hair and that's how you start to have an income good number five this is going to be interesting to teenagers people who just cleared high school or are still in high school and all that grow an instagram account and sell it i swear like the, this crazy things going on on instagram calling themselves gain trains someone starts a youtube channel today in the next one month they have up to 20k followers and then they just sell their account so i mean what do you have to lose you're always going to have internet on your phone so if you have this internet and use it to gain followers and then eventually sell this account then why not i mean i don't know if it's illegal <laughs> i really don't know if it's illegal but grow an instagram account sell it secondly you can start a youtube channel grow it and then it also generates a, a second uh, way of income 
number uh, still on this note of starting a youtube account you can start blogging for pay if you're good in writing if your english is good or your command for any language is actually perfect then you can go ahead and start writing things and selling them online so yeah that's all i mean in terms of create a youtube uh, sorry create an instagram account grow it sell it create a youtube account uh, sorry create a youtube channel and the writer okay. number six this is going to sound a little bit repetitive but make customized items for example t-shirts print t-shirts print hoodies print um anything that can be printed or generally print any merchandise that you can get and sell it people like to buy customized things i swear i have multiple times bought a necklace with a letter m because m stands for mary ann and mary ann is my name and it's just a human thing that you like to have custom made things so if you can come up with anything custom made anything that can have someone's name have someone's brand and all that i promise you people are going to buy it number seven the other thing you can do if you're a young woman young lady or young man as well and you can do makeup if you can do someone's makeup you're on the right side of this land because that's a skill you're not supposed to waste the thing you can do with this skill is combine with people who do photo shoots i mean you see a lot of kids out there doing photo shoots and all that some of them have makeup that's really terribly done so you can go out on the internet and look for all these people who have handles for photographers who do photo shoots and all that and then you can ask them to join arms with you so that you always do people's makeup they pay you and then he does the photos and that way two people grow and some other people get nice photos you know that's a beautiful thing to me i feel like it's a beautiful thing and again don't do your friends makeup for free i mean don't don't you i think you all have this one friend who probably is always wanting makeup to be done but she can't do makeup and probably that friend is me because i can't do makeup and i probably i'm always calling you to come do my makeup sometimes make me pay for your makeup why because it costs you time and secondly it costs you product yeah and again makeup is something you can really minimize on especially if you know your way around the boys you can find cheap product but also in finding cheap product make sure you're being careful with your skin and careful with your health my number eight point which is going to be closing for today is transcription and translation academic writing anything that concerns being online and writing those things pay I can tell you for a fact i have done a transcribing job i'm sorry maybe i've done a lot of these things but yeah i have done a transcribing job but it, it paid me really nice so you can go online find transcribing companies most of them you can find them online actually if you just type on google transcribing companies or i want to do a transcription job you'll always find someone or a company or someone who's just putting out put out information there that they're looking for people to transcribe and on this note if you can learn a foreign language just know that it's going to pay you well it's really going to pay you well and if you already know a foreign language go out on the internet before you get your visas to the countries you want to go to or anything go out to the internet find a transcribing job find an, ac an academic writing job find anything online that will pay you for writing and just like i mentioned earlier blogs and all go ahead and find something that will pay you that brings us to the end of this video today i hope you all took something with you home and if you did not i'm sorry for wasting your time <laughs> But I really hope I did not waste anyone's time. Just like I said earlier, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And if you're all here, thank you so much for being so faithful and watching my third, fourth video on YouTube. I appreciate you with all of my heart. Make sure you all remain safe and healthy and take care of yourselves and make some money. Take care. Bye and thank you.